And I welcome you to the DC Ever Soccer Complex, getting ready for girls soccer tonight on Zaleski Sports. My name's Chris Conley, our matchup defending conference champs, DC Everest against Walsall West. This is the first conference game for Walsall West of this young season. Now this year, as it's been the last couple of years, you play everyone in conference once, and then you go into a conference playoff tournament. So you've got only six games to determine your seating, so these games are super important. Walsall West arrives here with a two, one, and one record. They've won their last two matches. Now, as for the Everest girls, they've played once in conference. They were 6-1 to one winners over Spash. And the Everest girls usually play a very difficult non-conference schedule. So they've got a couple of losses, like they were blown out by Kimberly, but Kimberly's ranked 6th in the state. Rained a little earlier today, but sunshine now. We got into the low 50s. Temperatures tonight are going to fall into the 30s, but that'll be after we've wrapped up here. Let's meet the keepers. Grace Callio is a junior. Big stage for her tonight. She will start in goal for Walsall West. McKenna Campman is the Everest goalkeeper. She's a senior. Again, Walsall West thinks that they're off to a good enough start that they can be in the conversation as for who are the best teams in the Wisconsin Valley Conference. And kind of the acid test for them comes tonight. I mean, you think everyone in the Wisconsin Valley Conference, Everest has been the best team over the last couple of seasons. Want to say that, uh, that you can stake a claim to the conference title? Got to get past the Evergreens. Walsall West wears the road white kits with the blue numbers. The Evergreens are in the black kits with the white numerals. And the Everest starters are being introduced to the crowd and parents who are here tonight. Our pregame coverage is brought to you by Auto Select, located on Schofield Avenue in Weston, providing dependable vehicle repair, service, and tires for 22 years. A three year nationwide warranty, free roadside assistance at Auto Select. You're good to go. That's Auto Select on Schofield Avenue in Weston. Think it's going to be a comfortable night for sport? You bet. There's Jenna Bauman, all everything being introduced, along with teammate Kristen Hall. Lucas Colross guarded, uh, guided this team to a state championship. Boy, I remember that time down at the Uline Field in Milwaukee. What a fun time that was. Championship team picture and the goal to our right along the fence. The crowd here at the soccer complex comes to its feet for the national anthem. We'll be underway shortly thereafter. Opening whistle between D.C. Everest and Walsall West will get underway when we come right back on Zaleski Sports. Find auto repairs, brakes, tires, and oil changes all in one place at Auto Select in Weston. At Auto Select, you can expect dependable automotive repair from the experts you can trust will exceed your expectations. Auto repair has never been so comfortable with a spacious, clean waiting room with refreshments along with shuttle service and loaner vehicles for your convenience. And ask about their three year, 36,000 mile warranty. For your next auto repair or maintenance, bring your vehicle to Auto Select on Schofield Avenue in Weston. At Auto Select, you're good to go. Teams will be out on the pitch in just a moment to get us underway tonight. 
I looked because I'm curious about these things. Sunset is 749, so we'll play the entire first half under what's left of the late afternoon sun, and we'll play the second half tonight under the floodlights here at the D.C. Everest Soccer Complex. This field has taken a lot of rain over the last couple of days. It is soft for tonight's match. We are told by whoever the team DJ is that Eye of the Tiger is supposed to play now. Okay. The Everest team has been getting more players back from injury, so it's not like we have an official team DJ these days. Someone say is nursing an ACL or that kind of rehab work. You don't wish that on anyone, but they can still help the effort, right? Right. Again, Everest, two wins in four matches, 2-2-0. Two, two and oh. West, one win, one loss, and two ties. West has won their last two. When last seen, they were blowout winners over Lakeland. Wausau West fans, we're glad you're looking in on tonight's Zaleski sports coverage. D.C. Everest fans, glad to bring you this girls' soccer match. We're brought to you by Greenheck Group, the global leader in creating air movement and control equipment. Greenheck is one of Wausau's largest employers, the perfect place for the next step in your career. See if Greenheck Group is right for you. Greenheck.com. That's Greenheck.com. Whistle sounds and plays in. We're underway for Thursday night soccer. By the way, you're not missing any D.C. Everest sports coverage. The originally scheduled baseball game between D.C. Everest and Wausau East rained out. Simon Field not playable from the rain we've had over the last 48 hours. West moves right to left on our Zaleski camera. Evergreens from left to right. Again, I would think even though West comes in with the better record. Well, you know what? Let's see. We, we'll find out a lot in the opening minutes here. I would think the Evergreens are favored today. The Evergreens play a much tougher out-of-conference schedule. And year after year, the Evergreens seem to be the class of the Wisconsin Valley Conference. Here's a long ball ahead, so the Evergreens are on the engine for the first time. Quick double team in the box. Evergreens go back and lose control of the ball. Ava Hopner with the long run there. Evergreens try to create from the wing. Little contact. West player goes down. Play on. Again, let's see if Walsall West can generate enough chances to be competitive in tonight's game. Again, time will tell the tale. Evergreens play this off to Kristen Rohde on the side. Long ball ahead, trying to get for Jenna Bauman. It's too long, and Rolls out to the keeper, Grace Callio, who gathers this in. Callio wears the hot pink. No missing her tonight. Evergreens take away. Hopner puts that on goal. The goal is open, and in it goes. Evergreens have an early lead. Jenna Bauman scores. And, I mean, that came on a mistake. Ball was not supposed to come out like that, and you can't make a mistake when Jenna Bauman's in the neighborhood. Two minutes in, and the Evergreens have a lead. I mean, no panic for Walsall West. It's just really the next goal has to be theirs. I don't think you can go down 2 nothing even in the early stages, to this really good D.C. Everest team. Just unfortunate that you give up the first goal like that on an obvious mistake. Bauman again. Bauman spins free just outside the big box. Jenna is still going. Lost control of the ball, taken away by Megan Foster, a sophomore. Sophomore on senior there, so that's a pretty tall order. Walsall West plays this back. Stella Olson. Ahead to Emily Licht. See if Walsall West can get something out of this. This is Ella Bolin. Bolin on the wing, couldn't get that centered. 
Evergreens, though, are unable to clear. Emily Lucht. Evergreens with an early goal in the second minute of tonight's match. 1-0 here in the opening stages. Zhang Sheila Low, long ball ahead to Ava Hopner. It's too long, although Hopner's long-winded to get down there to it. Hopner won the race to that, went over the touchline. This is going to be a goal kick. Nope, ruled out of bounds off the West player. This will be an Evergreens corner kick from the far side. With a little air under it, it's on the wrong side of the post and out of play. While Walsall West looks to put this back in, let's take a quick break. We'll have screen-on-screen -screen coverage, so you'll continue to see the play-by-play -play here on Zaleski Sports. Access Insurance is your complete independent insurance agency for auto, home, business, and life insurance serving Wisconsin and Minnesota. Insurance can often be confusing and frustrating. But with Access Insurance, you get experienced advisors that pair you with exactly the coverage you need at the most competitive prices for every stage of life. Located in Weston and a proud supporter of area high school athletics, their business truly does revolve around you. Learn more at accessinsurance.net or by calling 715-355-8400. At Nicolet Bank, we believe that our hometown communities are the backbone of what makes Wisconsin special. From Crivets to Manitowoc and Algoma to Grand Chute, you see a thriving community with Nicolet Bank working as a partner, acting not as a corporation, but a community. When we serve together with local entrepreneurs and leaders, great things happen. That is our guiding principle. A strong and successful hometown means a strong and successful Wisconsin. We are proud to be a part of that. Nicolet Bank. Real people. Real conversations. Back to our full screen coverage with the Evergreens leading 1-0. One of the great mysteries of soccer, that if you officiate soccer matches, usually our referees are wearing their yellow kits like they did in the 0-0 JV game this afternoon. But referees who do a lot of work have to have the green and the hot pinks also. And which one is used for which match is one of the great mysteries. How do they decide? It may come down to something simple, like if a crew worked a match the night before and hasn't done laundry, well, then it's got to be a different color, right? Right. Warsaw West has possessed all right since going down one nothing. Play off to the wing. Emily Luck will try and square that away and unable to. Evergreens come back the other way. Here's Jenna Bauman. Bauman with the fancy footwork. Lost the ball there on the challenge from Stella Olson. Evergreens have it again near the center. Chipped ahead a little bit too long for Sanjila Lowe. Walsall West still waiting for their first shot on goal. Evergreens play this towards the center, but there's no one there. Again, West unable to clear it out. Shi Zhang Lo. It's a good ball to Hopner. Hopner wasn't sure if she should try and pass off to the wing or turn on that. Walsall West takes away. Let's see if Ella Bolin can generate anything out of this. Bolin shot wide. Again, she had two Everest defenders around her, but she also had a little more time to get that set and could have struck that ball a little bit firmer than she wound up. I think this went off one of the Everest players. This is going to be a west corner kick from the near corner. Jetta Bauman has the goal. Two minutes in, one nothing Everest. Let's see what West can do with this set piece. Line drive towards the outer part of the box. Out of danger for now. Yeah. 
Evergreens come away with the ball again. Away from the ball, one of the Everest players. Yeah, that was Jenna Bauman who went down hard. Play through that. Challenge there, no whistle. This will be a throw in from right in front of the West parents. Everest ball to throw in from the far side. See if Walsall West can win the race to this ball. From the edge of the box, shot wide. Everest keeper McKenna Kempton went down a little early, left the entire far side of the cage open, and the shot was wide regardless. So West had a chance at the equalizer that was simply not to be. We're brought to you by Backey's Family Chiropractic. Backey's in Rothschild provides personalized chiropractic care in a family-oriented atmosphere. They can help any age patients from a few days old to moms and dads trying to keep up with the kids. No matter what the issue with your body, migraines, anxiety, stress, and a wide variety of youth issues, Mackey's Family Chiropractic can give you back the life you deserve. Boy, she just plays at a different speed. Jenna Bauman accelerates to the ball, edge of the box, tries to center. While it's a great pass, too, to her teammate, it's right on the foot of Ava Hopner. Hopner chips it towards the goal and towards the near post. Jenna Bauman couldn't close on it in time. Jenna Bauman almost had her second goal of the evening. West dodges a bullet and keeps it at 1-0. Express Employment Professionals says find your next career at Express Employment Professionals. Wausau, Stevens Point, Marshfield. Learn more at Express Pros. That's their website, expresspros.com. Kick goes out of bounds. That wasn't what they planned. Evergreens will throw in. Foul there on the West player who closed on that ball. Initiated the contact, not 50-50. Evergreens will play this off from the wing. High ball towards the box. Goalie's off the line. It's loose, and it goes in. I think that is Zhang Xia Lo's goal. I think that's who it touched yet. But again, when the goalkeeper comes off her line like that, Grace Calico has got to be able to get that ball. Zhang Xia Lo gets the goal. Grace Sanquist will get an assist. It's 2 nothing Everest. Two nothing Everest now, so the waters get a little deep for Walsall West. While the Evergreens put this back in play, enjoying a two nothing lead, we are early in the first half. Let's step aside for a word from our sponsors. This is high school soccer on Zaleski Sports. For me, for Green Hack, it's just equal opportunity for everybody to grow. So I've been going to school for electrical system technology, and they gave me opportunity to go to that department. I was like, wow. Green Hack gives you a lot of opportunities. I love People that work hard here, they get opportunity to move up, and I found all that and more here. I've been encouraged to grow, to get education. Our future is really bright. Work where there are endless career opportunities, no mandatory overtime, and a great family atmosphere. I'm Karen from The Hearing House. Ignoring hearing loss can have many negative effects on your body and your life. Even if you don't realize it, it can affect your mind, your relationships, the way you feel, the way you act, your activities. Hearing loss is so much more than not hearing what people are saying. That's why at The Hearing House, we're so passionate about what we do, because we see the changes in people's lives. So call us if you're ready to find out if we can help you. Make your house a hearing house. Evergreens put another goal together and lead 2-0. Zhang Jia Lo from Grace Sanquist. Again, both of the Everest goals visually appear to be mistakes by Walsall West. 
One was a goal kick that came out short, and Jenna Bauman pounced on that, no problem. The other goalkeeper came off her line. Grace Calico didn't get to the ball and left the net open. Corner kick here for the Evergreens, already up 2-0. Low line drive into traffic. Evergreens play this back to the wing. Edge of the box. Walsall West has it out of danger for the time being. Kind of a disappointing start for Walsall West. They came in with a 2-1-1 and record and thought that they would compete for conference honors. Has not worked out that way in the early stages. There was a lot of match left, that's for sure. Just to get the feeling for things to go West's way tonight that they would have to play mistake-free soccer, and they have not. Walsall West tries to win this. Emily Lucked on the race. Everest players on the ball faster. West plays this back. Stella Olson tries to get this centered. Lizzie Bizjak. Bizjak's marked closely, has to play it backwards to Stella Olson. Chipped forward, it's a tough angle. Goalkeeper shuts that down. McKenna Campman did a good job getting off the line there. Goal kick coming up. Soccer tonight brought to you by Auto Select in Weston on Schofield Avenue, providing dependable vehicle repair, service, and tires for 22 years. A three-year nationwide warranty, free roadside assistance at Auto Select. You're good to go. Auto Select, Schofield Avenue in Weston. West plays this off to the side. Ball's a little bit too long and tracked down there by Kylie Koch and out of play. Walsall West will throw in. On the edge of their attacking third of the pitch, Mercy Kelly, a freshman, back in for Walsall West. Two 40-minute halves in high school soccer. West will get a deep throw in. And one of the things that I think is a little tough here is to keep Walsall West going in the right direction. It's got to be such a disappointing start for them. Find themselves down 2 nothing. Got to keep pushing forward. Evergreen's coming back. While all the way down the field, Evergreen's had a player all alone. Didn't find her. Got a whistle here. That's a foul on West. Evergreens will get the ball on the restart. Kirsten Hall will start here. We saw Kirsten a lot during the basketball season. Again, a lot of these Everest players are two and three sport athletes. Goes off to the wing. Evergreens are unable to stop it. Goal kick here. Tonight's match is brought to you by Axis Insurance. Whether it concerns your personal life or your business with Axis Insurance, you know you'll be taken care of. Auto, home, business, life, disability. No matter what your needs, look to Axis Insurance and rest easy. Learn more at AxisInsurance.net. Axis Insurance, their business revolves around you. West will throw in on the near touchline.
Evergreens get this out of danger. Evergreens have a number 19 on the pitch who's not on my roster. Mystery 19. Oh, there it is. Vinny Drawner, who's a backup goalkeeper, wears number one when she's in net, and there wears number 19. Mystery solved. Thank you. Appreciate the help. Long ball that's maybe a little too long. Kept in play. Nope. Goal kick. And the Evergreens are going to get this out of danger. Everest goals at the two-minute and ten-minute marks in this match. Long run along the far side of the pitch. West kicks it out. Evergreens will get a throw in. Coming up on the midway point of the first half. Everest keeps the chance alive. Tried to get that into the box, looking for Shangjia Lo. Lost in traffic. West plays it off to the side. Mercy Kelly. Evergreens take it away. In the center, Madison Sazama. Played off to the side. West out of danger, ahead to Ellie Tipple. Seeing that Ellie is on the Walsall West roster, I wonder if her grandfather, former Walsall Mayor Jim Tipple, is in attendance across the way. The former mayor even occasionally says hello. Punted out by Grace Callio. Evergreens have it near midfield. Kirsten Hall got a touch for a moment. It's ahead. Walsall West off to the side. Here's Mercy Kelly. Kelly's around the ball a lot for a freshman. Played to the wing. This will be a throw in to Walsall West. Corner coming. Nobody home there for the Warriors. Evergreens with a run along the far side. Tried to chip that ahead to Madison Sazama. Yeah, West, uh oh, turns the ball over, edge of the box. Evergreen shot on goal, cranking that just high over the crossbar. Madison really had a chance to turn the wheel on that. She'll come out. Grace Sanquist comes in. Shangjia Lo is out. Kira Schmidt is on for the Evergreens. Walsall West with a goal kick to get this out. Evergreens on the far side. That ball stayed in. Evergreens will get a throw in. Edge of the attacking third. Got a whistle here. Referee doesn't like that push from the Walsall West player. Yeah, 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 
kind of an interesting spot on the field. The Evergreens could certainly put this on goal from here. Line drive into traffic, saved. Grace Callio. Callio's punt is short and to the near side. And the Evergreens take the ball back. Bryn Campman plays it off to the side. Play on through the contact there. Campman went down for the Evergreens. Everest is back on defense. Turned over. See if Walsall West can get a shot. Oh, over the crossbar. Boy, West needed something good to come off of that turnover. West sends one, two, three, four, five new players in. I believe that shot came from Maya Rice, a sophomore. The Hearing House provides personalized hearing health care from five convenient locations throughout central Wisconsin. Give Karen or Todd a call, schedule an appointment, Wausau, Stevens Point, Colby, Nielsville, or Marshfield. Make your house a hearing house. We're also sponsored by Nicolay Bank. Personal banking at its best. Locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Edgar, Medford, Colby, and Merrill. Or learn more at nicolaybank.com. Again, this gets interesting if the next goal belongs to West. Cuts this to a one-goal lead. And West is unable to get that centered from the near side. This will be a goal kick for the Evergreens. Next step, Prosthetics has been providing prosthetic and orthotics throughout central Wisconsin. Take your next step. Contact Next Step Prosthetics today. At short, and Walsall West still possesses. Mercy Kelly kind of knocked off the ball there. West will get a throw in. Evergreens were trying to get that forward to Ava Hopner. Ava Hopper, beg your pardon. We've got an N in there and there is none. Sorry, Ava. Got it right now. Mercy Kelly again. Active for West in this first half. Plays this off to the side. Emily Callio. Out of play along the near sideline. Edge of the box. High ball in. No one there. Kind of overplayed by the Everest defender. Out of bounds. Walsall West will throw it at the edge of the attacking third. Late afternoon sunlight and what's been a pleasant afternoon. Threatening some rain earlier. A lot of sunshine for the later part of the day. Upcoming Everest broadcasts on Monday will be down in Wisconsin Rapids for girls softball. Haven't seen the girls softball team in a while. I understand that they were winners today 11-0. Who'd they play? Marshfield, I think? Merrill. Merrill. One of the M's. Everest baseball against Walsall East rained out. Simon Field not playable. That game comes back on the schedule a week from Monday. Our Zaleski cameras, not certain because we don't schedule more than a week out, but I think our Everest cameras and microphones will be there for that. 
a week from Monday brings us to the last week of April. April has just flown by. Let's see if the Evergreens can get something centered from here. Try to into traffic. Bounced around. Grace Sanquist was in the neighborhood. Evergreens keep the chance alive. Bryn Campman into traffic, cleared out kind of late. Campman comes up and closes on that ball. Evergreen still possess. Ruby Cowell. Looked like the West player pushed off there. No whistle. Tried to play that off to the side. Couldn't make the connection. A lot of contact there, got a whistle. That's a foul on the Warsaw West player that closed into Grace Sanquist. Evergreens are going to get this just about 10 yards outside the big box. See if the Evergreens can create something with a 2-0 lead. Sanquist is going to take this. West will set up a four-player wall. They'll walk him back the 10, and we're ready to go here. See if the strategy is to play this off to the side or lift it over. Lifted over at a save. Ball was loose for a moment. Grace Callio smothers it. While Walsall West clears this out to the middle of the field, 2-0 Everest, let's step aside for a word from our sponsors on Zaleski Sports. Whether you're just beginning your educational journey or seeking a new opportunity, we're here for you. At North Central Technical College, we have unique partnerships with four-year colleges that allow you to transfer seamlessly to and from our campus, saving you time and money. With hundreds of transfer options available, the path to a bachelor's degree and a great paying career are just a step away. North Central Technical College. Start here, go anywhere. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys. Me! <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Walsall West on the attack while we were in our commercial break. Lost that ball into traffic and out of danger. Evergreen's 2-0 lead still good. Walsall West on the far side. In traffic, still managed to get through, but an easy save for McKenna Campman. West has had one really good look at the goal, one that was cranked high over the crossbar. But they're already trailing 2 0 then, where we remain right now. Well, that should have been a play through, I think. Madison Sazama, I thought, got all ball. But you know what? The referee sees that from the other side. So his view is a little different than ours. Foul on the Evergreens. Walsall West to put this back in from midfield. West plays this back to the center. Lights are on now here at the Everest Soccer Complex. Haven't really taken effect yet, but they will in the second half. West from the edge of the box, a roller not particularly well struck by Emily Lucked and gathered in. Emily's a sophomore.
Everest chases. Wausau West plays this all the way back. Substitutions coming on for the Evergreens. Jula Henmeyer, Kylie Koch comes in. West got a couple of fresh legs on the pitch as well. Bouncer to the near side, put out a play. This is going to be a throw-in for the Evergreens deep in the attacking part of the field. Bauman and Zhongxi Lo are the goal scorers for the Evergreens in the second and tenth minutes, respectively. We've played an extended period of 0-0 soccer now as we get to the later parts of the first half. Soccer is brought to you by S.C. Swiderski, and S.C. Swiderski apartment or home is where you want to live, work, and play throughout central Wisconsin, the Chippewa Valley, and the Fox Valley. No matter where you want to live, look to S.C. Swiderski. They will make you feel right at home. SCSwiderski.com for more. West took that ball away without fouling. Ball ahead to Ella Bolin. Bolin looks to track that down. That was a good defensive play by the last Everest defender back there. Caitlin Abiel? I think so. Saying that pinballed out of play off the West player. So here's a goal kick for the Evergreens. Clock that you see on our Zaleski sports broadcast is unofficial. We are in the late stages of the first half. No injury stoppages. Two goals scored here in the first half. So time should be pretty close to right. Long ball ahead, off her line, and scooping that up is McKenna Kentman. McKenna made the right decision there, didn't want to stay back and let the Walsall West player take a big whack at that. Came off and won the race to the ball. Contact there, that's a foul on Everest. You know, Walsall West, again, both of the goals scored on Walsall West mistakes or defensive breakdowns. West has got to figure this would be a 0-0 match if they could have cleaned those things up. Offside here. You know, whistle sounds. Flag went up right away along the far sideline. Evergreens play this off to the center. (laughs) 
out of play for a West throw-in in front of the Everest parents on the far side. In traffic, that pinballed off a couple of players and rolls well wide of the far post. Evergreens are in control right now. Can the Evergreens create from the far side? Evers comes up, takes this away. Kirsten Hall moved right around that West defender. Then turned it over. And I believe with that, we have come to halftime. D.C. Evers 2, Wausau West nothing. Evergreen scored early. Well, we're looking around. Are we at halftime? I don't think we are. This is an injury stoppage to get a West player off the field. Trying to get a look at who this is for Walsall West that's hurt. Via Cowell, a freshman, is being helped off. And now we've reached halftime. It's 2-0 D.C. Everest. Evergreen scored in the Jenna Bauman goal two minutes in. Zongzia low at the 10-minute mark with an assist to Grace Sanquist. And again, both of the goals scoring on defensive miscues by Warsaw West. Evergreen's lead 2-0. This is halftime on Zaleski Sports. Hi, I'm Shai from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shy. Shy is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step because it's going to change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. I'm Jamie Schley. As your American Family Insurance agent, I'm looking out for what matters to you even when nothing is wrong. Give me a call or stop by our new office location and let's talk about your insurance needs today. I think there are a lot of benefits to schooling our children from home. We get to spend a lot of time with them and there are eureka moments like seeing them walk for the first time or they figure something out and they're so excited about it. The RVA really does work with each family to individualize each child's education to help them really succeed. This is like the best thing in Wisconsin in terms of school. For us, the RVA was our first and best choice of schools to choose. We love the RVA! Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. 
Everybody seems to bond together and get along good. And they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at StaubCO.com. Hi, my name is Preston. I have the Abbey Bank Bright Future checking account for kids and teens. I really like the mobile wallet feature. I just tap my phone to pay for snacks or anything at a store. I get my own debit card that my mom can transfer money into. She can also turn my card on or off if I misplace it. Plus, Abbey Bank gave me a bonus after I made my first deposit. Mom, if you're listening, Send more money, please. Visit us online at abbeybank.com to learn more. Abby Bank is a member of FDIC. Buy three Goodyear tires and one is free has been extended at Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Plus, get up to $200 back on four installed Goodyear tires when you use the Goodyear credit card. Buy three and one is free in March at Sherrill Tire and Auto. Find your location at sherrilltire.com. Welcome to J&D Tube Benders. Here at J&D, we strive to meet our customers' requirements and expectations. We pursue this goal through the effort of our dedicated employees by continually improving in the areas of customer service, quality, and productivity. We pride ourselves on not only being a pillar of the manufacturing industry, but a family to our employees. J&D Tube Benders, the fastest name in tube line fabrication. From humble beginnings in 1904, the Wietrich family has grown grassland dairy products into one of the largest processors of butter in the nation. Based in Greenwood, Wisconsin, the family and its hundreds of employees continue their pursuit of providing high quality products that can proudly be served in restaurants and homes across America. For me, for Green Hack, it's just equal opportunity for everybody to grow. So I've been going to school for electrical system technology, and they gave me opportunity to go to that department. I was like, wow. Green Hack gives you a lot of opportunities. I love it. People that work hard here, they get an opportunity to move up, and I found all that and more here. I've been encouraged to grow, to get education. Our future is really bright. Work where there are endless career opportunities, no mandatory overtime, and a great family atmosphere.
Teams are coming back out onto the pitch. The second half will be underway in just a moment, and Walsall West will open, trailing 2-0. I'm Chris Conley. Jenna Bauman at the two-minute mark. Zonshia Lowe at the 10-minute mark to get us to 2-0 right now. Walk past the Walsall West huddle at halftime. Still optimistic about things. And why not? Again, take away the two defensive mistakes, and this would be a 0-0 first half. Whistle sounds, plays in for half number two, and will play under the floodlights for what's left of the evening. Girls soccer is brought to you by Staub Construction, a premier builder of municipal and industrial water supplies and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Staub Construction, 100% employee-owned. And the Evergreens pressure the net to open the second half. Evergreens trying to get something from the wing. Played short, but over the touchline. This will be a goal kick for Walsall West. I say this often when we do a Walsall West game. I personally owe a debt of thanks to the Walsall West Athletic Department. All of my Conley kids, and I've had four of them, are Walsall West kids. My oldest daughter, Danielle, she was a Walsall West valedictorian. Michael, my middle son, was a Walsall West soccer player until his spinal cord injury. And, and that's the thanks that I owe to the Walsall West Athletic Department. You know, Michael had an unexpectedly good recovery from what looked like a very serious injury. And he got to help out. I mean, the injury happened in his sophomore year of high school. He's a college grad student now at the University of Minnesota. But as he gradually got out of his wheelchair and literally learned to walk again, he got to be one of the assistant managers for the girls' soccer team. And then Michael played JV soccer for the boys, and they kept him on their active roster into his senior year. So on parents' night, me and Michael's mom got to come out and even got into the game, even though Michael can't really run these days. It's just one of the long-term impacts from his injury. But just to see him get on the field for the final 10 minutes of a game on parents' night... Again, those are great memories that the Walsall West Athletic Department made happen for my family, and I'm grateful for it. My youngest daughter, Evie, graduates what? One month from today is Walsall West graduation day. And of course, the spring sports seasons will linger a little longer after cap and gown time. Walsall West gets a turnover. Let's see if they can run this down. Ella Bolin not getting to it. Well, it's a late call. Late whistle there on the Evergreens, Caitlin Abiel. So Walsall West is going to get an opportunity. They're going to be able to put this ball on goal from here. It's about what? Less than 10 yards outside of the big box. Let's see how Walsall West plays this. Two-player wall for the Evergreens, and I think they're going to walk them back a little further than that. Evergreens now put a third and fourth player and are told to back up at least three big steps. Can Walsall West get something good to happen here? Lily Bijek takes the kick off the wall and into the hands of the Everest keeper, McKenna Campman. So Walsall West rolls snake eyes. Punted out to midfield and the Evergreens have it again. Boy, I mean, Walsall West has not been able to generate a lot of scoring opportunities. To, to see one like that go by the wayside is tough. Overrunning the ball there was Ella Bolin. Up, edge of the box. Evergreens have it out. Long run in. That ball's a little too far out in front of Ava Hopper. 
over the touchline. Goal kick coming up here for West. We've got an extended period of this match without any goal scores. Evergreen's got up 2-0 at the 10-minute mark. Along the edge, this will roll over the touchline. I think this is a corner kick coming up for the Evergreens. Yes, it is, from the far side. See what the Evergreens can make happen here. A lot of air under this. Headed in traffic. Wausau West gets it out. Long ball ahead, and the Evergreen of a player back. Caitlin Abiel was the player closest to it. Wausau West plays on the near side. Emily Lucht tries to chip this ahead. Evergreens will smother this out and will play it over the end line. I'm not sure the Evergreens wanted to do that. This is going to be a Wausau West corner from the near side. Again, see if Wausau West can generate a scoring opportunity, trailing 2 nothing. If they get one of the goals back early, there's all the time in the world to try and get even. And again, they have to convert one of these opportunities into a point. They have not yet. Line drive towards the box. West plays it to the corner. High blocked away. That's good defense from the Evergreens. West again from the wing trying to get this centered. It's headed out, up, and out of danger. So again, Wausau West can't get that good look on goal that they haven't had in a long time. Goes ahead. This is a nice ball to Hopper, a little bit too long. Tried to thread the needle there. Evergreens will get a corner kick out of this from the near side. Stand by after this corner. We'll take a picture-in-picture -picture commercial break. First, the corner in full screen view, bending away out of danger, and it's going to go over the touch line. Now, Walsall West, still, uh, Evergreen still keep it. And gathered in by Grace Callio. 2-0 Everest. This is girls soccer on Zaleski Sports. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express ExpressPros.com. Hey everybody, Nat over at Wheeler Chevrolet GMC, and I am standing in our all new Express Lane. Open now, no appointment necessary. Stop on in and get things like oil changes, filters, quick lubes, no appointment necessary. See you soon. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. L. Tipple and Violet Kelly have come on for Wausau West. Evergreens here played off to the corner. Can Everest turn on this and get it centered? Evergreens have players back. Easily gathered in. Kristen Hall. Again, the Evergreens can play these players back because they enjoy the luxury of a 2-0 lead. 
Foul call there on Walsall West. Evergreens are going to get this restarted with Grace Sanquist. Grace is going to loft this into the box from this spot on the pitch. Put some air under it. Just missed finding the foot of Sanquist. Mm. About to enter our 50th minute. Evergreens control this. And now West. The pass is errant, turns right back over to the Evergreens. We are sponsored by Staub Construction, a premier builder of municipal and industrial water and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Staub Construction is 100% employee owned. Again, everything we've seen tonight seems to confirm that if someone wants to be Valley Conference champions, that road goes through this D.C. Everest team. Evergreens tonight feel like they are sitting on a 2-0 conference start. A win tonight will bring them back to 500 for the season overall, bring them above 500, three wins and two losses, assuming the 2-0 lead holds up. Ag Country Farm Credit Services is a farmer-owned co-op offering a wide array of custom financing and financial services. Loans, leases, crop insurance, tax, and records, they have you covered. Ag Country, Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford. Evergreen center this, but Wausau West gets it out. This will be punted away. And the Evergreens still, Evergreens as we move through this match have been winning more of the 50-50 balls against West. Well, West takes that away right on cue. Evergreens have two players back and the West player kind of overran that and had to stop on a dime. Cross the pitch pass, not so good. West still possesses. West tries to play this short. The Evergreens clear it out of there. Right back to midfield. A lot of contact there, play through it all. Centering, headed wide. Julia Hemauer comes back in. Two more fresh players in for Everest. West out towards the center. Evergreens take it right back. Walsall West on the far side. Long ball centering, but the Evergreens have a couple of players back. It's gotten a little colder as the sun has gone down. Kind of a different animal out there right now. We're going down to the 30s tonight. This is going to be the coldest night of the week, but we won't get there till after this one is wrapped up. Centering pass in traffic. Little bumping in the box. Evergreens clear it out. And the Evergreens again closed on that ball. Got it out of danger. So Walsall West doesn't get a look at the net from it. All the way out to the middle of the field again. 
West here along the near side. First time in a while they've had a little bit of room to operate. Aliva Meyer off to the wing. That's L. Tipple. And Tipple with a bad pass trying to go back out. Gives it right back to Everest. Balls ahead. Tipple's fighting for it again. Plays it short. Tipple couldn't catch up with that. Goes out of play. Evergreens will throw this in. Walsall West is a little trouble making the connections that they've needed to. Evergreen send this ahead. Ava Hopper. Now a whistle. Handball. Give this ball back to Walsall West. Long ball, edge of the box, into traffic. Up. West has had trouble getting separation. Off to the wing. And West has to play it back. The Evergreens come up and disrupt that. Ava Hopper. West still has it. Shot is well wide. Not well struck. It's deflected out by the Evergreens. Walsall West is going to have a corner kick from the near side. Maya Rice comes on for the Evergreens. El Sheenberger, a freshman, comes in for the Warriors as well. 56th minute of tonight's match. 2-0 Evergreens. On goal, headed out. West tries to close on this ball. It's loose in the corner. Got a whistle there, and that's a foul on the Warriors. While we're waiting for a restart, let's step out for a moment. 2-0 D.C. Everest. This is girls soccer on Zaleski Sports. I know that I can handle schooling my children because the RVA provides the tools that I need. The RVA has adjusted curriculum by placing children right where their learning is. That's the number one goal is to make sure that your children are learning and so you don't move on if, they're, if they haven't grasped the concept. You stop, pause, and you make sure that you grasp that before you move on. The RVA will work with your child's needs and will provide the support and the attention that your child not only needs but deserves. Elite Auto Care is a family-owned business providing top-notch car care to the Schofield, Weston, and Wausau area. They deliver honest and professional automotive repair and maintenance services with quality ASE certified technicians that you can trust. Elite Auto Care offers the latest technology and is equipped to handle all major and minor repairs on both foreign and domestic vehicles. From general maintenance, air conditioning and brakes to exhaust, axle repair, tires, or just a simple oil change, turn to Elite Auto Care, your local family-owned auto business on Schofield Avenue in Schofield. Walsall West shot was smothered on the near side post by McKenna Kaufman, and we stay at 2 nothing. Evergreens flipping the field here. Ava Hopper, long run, has a little bit of room. Hopper got past one of the defensive players. Shot hit the near side post. Ava did a lot of that on her own. Knew that she had a favorable matchup. Turned on the speed. Unofficially now, we are halfway through the second half, about to enter the 60th minute of our 80-minute match.
This will be out of play over the far touchline. Wausau West will inbound. Foundation Finance brings you tonight's soccer match. Now is your chance to work with a company that really understands growth. Foundation Finance Company has grown every year since they started in 2012. Make the money you need with flexible scheduling, a close-knit, fun-loving group, full-time benefits that start from day one at Foundation Finance. Walsall West, a little bit of room, shot here, up and over the crossbar. It's Walsall West's first good look in a while. I believe that came from Reagan Quirt, a freshman. Elite Auto Care is where Schofield, Weston, and Wausau turn for local, family-owned auto service you can trust. Major and minor repairs, foreign and domestic vehicles. Look to auto elect, Elite Auto Care. Elite Auto Care is on Schofield Avenue in Weston. Shot here from outside the box. One hopped into the arms of McKenna Kaufman by Reagan Quirt. Quirt got the last shot, too. Punted away, kind of short. Played off to the wing, but wow, an Everest player is going to close on this ball faster. Throw in for West. Short ball ahead, partially blocked. That shot didn't get all the way through. Evergreens play this deep in the corner defensively. That's out of play over the touchline. Corner kick for West. Substitutes on for the Evergreens. Shangjia Lo. Xia Zhang Lo is back in too. West plays this soft. Everest keeper comes out of goal, even though there was no angle to speak of there. McKenna Kaufman smothers that and will punt it away. Trying to play this forward. Again, Evergreen's keeper comes off her line. And McKenna's got it. Mutual of Wausau Insurance protects homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Go online to mutualofwausau.com and find an agent near you. Mutualofwausau.com. Played off to the side. I think this is a West throw in. Nope. Evergreens have the ball. A lot of contact there playing through this. Bad pass there. Everest ball.
Turned over to Everest near midfield. Tried to chip that forward. No one there. Player didn't break towards the ball. West sends this too far ahead. It'll be an Evergreen's throw in just on the other side of the midfield line. Unofficially, 15 minutes left in our match, and the Evergreen's 2-0 lead is still good, as it's been for a long time. Ouch. Went right off the side of the head of Emily Lucht. Evergreen chip this ahead, edge of the box. Trying to turn on that, tried to play that soft for Madison Sarzama. Didn't work out. You know, if there's anything that Walsall West should be encouraged about, this has been a pretty evenly played second half. Neither team has scored. Both teams have generated a few opportunities. West subs in Josie Drager and Madeline Weller, two sophomores. This is a young West team. West has only two seniors, so they figure to be better next year. Maybe they're a year away from playing their best soccer. This will be a goal kick. Grace Sanquist comes back on for the Evergreens. Annie Kolbaka, a senior, off for Everest. And Evergreens possess near midfield. Let's see if Walsall West can get something out of this run. Everest goalie comes off her line. The whole goal is left open, and it's wide of the near post. Mm. Sometimes it's that kind of night. McKenna Kopman came all the way off her line. Left the whole goal mouth open and wide of the near side post. Mm -mm -mm. From the far side, again, Everest got a couple of players back. That's the way you can play when you have the luxury of the lead at 2 nothing. West, edge of the box, just at the attacking third. Yeah, there's foul going to be called there. 
So again, Walsall West will have another opportunity. They can loft something from this spot on the pitch. Evergreens will set up a three-player wall here. Opportunity knocks again for the Warriors. Chipped high on goal into traffic. And along the near side post over the touchline. Is this going to be a corner? Yes, I think it will be. Corner kick from the near side. Dana Bizak comes on for Walsall West before they attempt this. Here we go, high, bending away. And again, nothing comes of that set piece. Evergreens coming back the other way. Long run again for Ava Hopper. Evergreen center, a little bit off the mark. Right idea, just not well executed. Looking for Olivia Gertz. Be a goal kick for Walsall West. About 10 minutes left in tonight's match. We are sponsored by Great Lakes Cheese. Join the team at Great Lakes Cheese in Walsall. You'll work in a state-of-the-art facility, excellent pay, benefits, culture, and more. Join a growing company and get your career on the right path at Great Lakes Cheese. You can apply online at greatlakescheese.com. That's greatlakescheese.com. Yeah, nothing doing there for Walsall West. Kaylee Koch, Bryn Campman waiting to come in on the next stoppage when Everest can substitute. A lot of room here on the near side. Can the Evergreens get this centered from there? Centered and a little bit too tall for the Everest player who is right in the middle in front of the small box. Too tall for Olivia Gertz. This was deflected out off a West player. The Evergreens will get a corner kick from the far side. Brought to you here by Rotographic Printing. Rotographics is your local Warsaw graphic printing expert. Your business can always depend on the finest customer service, ensuring your project is done right and sets you apart from the competition. Sales literature, retail product design, brand building. For your next graphics printing need, look to Rotographic Printing. 80th Street, Walsall. Here we go from the far corner. Low line drive, but the other side of the post. Culligan Water says get Culligan Water for $9.95 a month for your first three months. Visit Sterling Culligan Water at CulliganH2O.com. JD Tube Benders in Weston in the Industrial Park is a certified custom manufacturer and distributor of tubes, tubing, and tube assemblies. A family-owned business that could be the perfect place to consider for the next step in your career. If you're looking for a change, consider applying at JD Tube Benders online at JDTube.com. Getting late for Walsall West. Madison Sazma comes in for the Evergreens. Easy to spot with the glowing orange soccer cleats.
Throw in awarded to Everest. Some of the Walsall West fans on that far side disagree. Camping World of Rothschild is just off I-39. A huge inventory of new and used RVs, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and campers. Treat yourself to memories that'll last a lifetime. Camping World, Rothschild. No goals in the second half. It's been 2 nothing since the 10-minute mark in this match. This will be out of play. Everest throw in deep in their own end. L. Tipple, Reagan Court back in. Both teams get their players being substituted for off the pitch. We're in the 35th minute of the second half, 75th of tonight's match. Evergreen's looking for a shutout in their second conference game of the young season. This will be an Everest throw-in at the edge of their attacking third. Fleet Farms says pick up all of your pets' favorites at Fleet Farm. Everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. All the brands trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop everyday pet essentials at Fleet Farm. Next Everest Zaleski broadcast Monday, softball. We'll travel down to Wisconsin Rapids. Rapids has that beautiful softball and baseball complex. They've been using that for a couple of years now. A lot of contact there. Ball just goes out of bounds. It's Everest ball from near midfield. Merrill Steel is your partner for structural steel fabrication. Consider moving your career to one of the largest growing fabrication companies in the upper Midwest. Apply at MerrillSteel.com. Little room to operate here. Everest plays this small. Tried to get it over to the near side post. Can the Evergreen center from here? Back in, right through the small box and out of play. This will be a goal kick. Our clock is unofficial. We've got about two minutes left in play, maybe a little more than that from some stoppage time in the second half. West will throw in with time working against them. Mercy Kelly to throw in. Throw in for West. Into traffic. Shot partially deflected. Right in front, and West has scored. A late goal for Warsaw West makes it 2-1. to one. The West goal scorer is 5, Sophia Bell. Bell at the 78-minute mark makes it 2-1. to one. 
So now the Evergreens will have to be careful. Their lead has been halved. Sophia Bell scores for Warsaw West. Boy, we went an extended period from the 10-minute mark to the 78th minute before we've had a goal scored here. Now the Evergreens want to salt away this next 90 seconds or so. Come out of here with the victory. See if Walsall West can get one more look at the net, one more rush down the pitch. Give themselves a chance to do something here. Whistle sounds. We're at full time. That's going to do it. Evergreens are two to one winners here. They scored in the second and in the 10th minute. Walsall West got a goal back with just two minutes left. Not enough time to do anything with it. Jenna Bauman at the two minute mark and Shang Shia Lo at the 10 minute mark are the goal scorers for the Evergreens. Everest improves to three wins and two losses on the season. For Walsall West, two wins, two losses, and one tie. The Evergreens are off to a 2-0 start in conference play with wins over Spash and over Walsall West tonight. Stay tuned for the Merrill Steel post-game show. We'll go down to field level. Consider moving your career to one of the largest growing fabrication companies in the upper Midwest. Apply today at MerrillSteel.com. Again, that concludes our play-by-play -play coverage tonight. Final score, D.C. Everest with two goals in the first half defeats Walsall West 2-1. I'm Chris Conley. Good night, everybody. Merrill Steel welcomes you as you join us in a virtual tour. Our main facility in Schofield, Wisconsin, covers an area of roughly 46 acres and is home to our company headquarters. From this location, paired with our facilities in Comanche, Iowa and Springfield, Missouri, we are able to easily fulfill the needs of the industry nationwide. With nearly 1 million square feet of combined space between our three facilities, we are able to take on some of the biggest and most complex jobs, making us one of the top five steel fabricators in the country. We employ the best of the best welders, those who can weld efficiently with both metal core and flux core and who aren't afraid to work hard. We also offer on-the-job training so even beginner welders can learn the ropes and help us build it big. As a backup to our dedicated weld fab team, we have a robotic welder. Merrill Steel is the fourth in the U.S. to have gotten one, keeping us on the leading edge of technology. With the combination of both man and machine, no Merrill Steel welcomes you as you join us in a virtual tour. Our main facility in Schofield, Wisconsin, covers an area of roughly 46 acres and is home to our company headquarters. From this location, paired with our facilities in Comanche, Iowa and Springfield, Missouri, we are able to easily fulfill the needs of the industry nationwide. With nearly 1 million square feet of combined space between our three facilities, we are able to take on some of the biggest and most complex jobs, making us one of the top five steel fabricators in the country. We employ the best of the best welders, those who can weld efficiently with both metal core and flux core and who aren't afraid to work hard. We also offer on-the-job training so even beginner welders can learn the ropes and help us build it big. As a backup to our dedicated weld fab team, we have a robotic welder. Merrill Steel is the fourth in the U.S. to have gotten one, keeping us on the leading edge of technology. With the combination of both man and machine, no job is too big to handle, but they'd have no work on their hands without our machine operators. Where our fabrication process really begins is here. Our skilled machine ops team is responsible for bringing in the raw steel. Be it sawing, cutting, drilling, or punching, they make sure the steel is in the correct shape and size for our fab teams. As an addition to the machine ops team, we've recently purchased multiple Python X machines. These handy systems have given us increased productivity, unmatched cut quality, and predictable and consistent throughput. Moving away from fabrication, we come to our coating department. 
One of the unique benefits of working with Merrill Steel is our in-house blasting and painting capabilities. Many projects require a complex coating system, and that's where we shine above the competition. We regularly apply corrosion-resistant coating in-house, as well as intumescent fire protection when needed. We hold the endorsement for sophisticated paint and coating from AISC. This, along with our NACE certified inspectors, ensure a high-quality finish for every piece. The loading and staging process, sandwiched between the end of production and shipping, is an important step in the fabrication process. Within a moment's notice, we are able to handle and place an entire load onto a trailer for quick delivery to a job site. Finally, the last stage in our process is shipping. Our transit company, Merrill Steel Transit Services, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Merrill Steel Incorporated, consisting of more than 20 state-of-the-art trucks designed for transporting oversized and overweight shipments, along with hundreds of trailers ranging from Post-game coverage on Zaleski Sports Girls Soccer tonight. The Evergreens are 2-1 to one winners over Walsall West. Coach, congratulations on the win. You know, one of the signs of a good team is you make your opponents pay for their mistakes. And there were mistakes on those first two goals in the first half. Yeah, um, you know, this is our first game with, with Jenna back here. And uh, she kind of gave our team a little bit of a spark in the first 10 minutes. And um, you know, we played really well that, that first 10 minutes. But, you know, unfortunately, we kind of dropped off play tonight. And, um, just lost possession overall, and it, it wasn't our best game, but when you can come out on top in a game that's not your best game, um, that's a good sign. The second half looked even, and you gave up that late goal. You still had, what, another minute and a half to get through for the win. Any panic or any concerns then? It looked like the team still kept its composure. No, that's one of our specialties is closing out a game. Um, you know, at least you know when we're up a goal or whatever in the last five minutes, if we need to, to corner the ball and, and try and keep possession then, we're, we're pretty good. But... Um, yeah, it's not what we want to see, giving up a goal in the last five minutes of the game. Uh, but we'll, we, we'll fix things up in practice, and, and uh, we'll bounce back. Congratulations on the win tonight. It still seems like any other team that wants to be Valley Conference champions got to get past the Evergreens. Spend some time with Jenna. Good to have you back. It must feel good to be back out there again. Yes, it feels great. It's been since 2022 since I've played a game at this field, so it feels great to be back and playing on this field. Tell about some of the work that nobody sees that you have to do to rehab to actually get back onto the pitch. It takes a lot of work. I mean, I've been going to the gym every day, lifting and doing my cutting stuff, and then I go to Green Bay as well um, during Wednesdays and work with the strength trainer there. But also, like, the mental part of it is something I don't think a lot of people know about and how, like, mentally tough it is to come back from injury like an ACL and meniscus. Tell us about the goal because the ball looked like <laughs> it came back short and you pounced on that right away. <laughs> Um, it was dead silent, and no one really knew that it went in, but I should have celebrated a little bit more, but it felt great um, to get a goal in the first, like, two minutes. And it looks like physically you're in good shape, that in a lot of situations you're just faster than some of the other players, so that's good to see you come back strong. Correct. I mean, going off of that, I put in the work to, uh, like, get to, back to the speed and get back to this, like, level of play, so I can, I'm, like, really thankful that it's showing and paying off in the uh, games. The Evergreens get goals in the second and tenth minute. A two-to-one win tonight over Walsall West. Good to have you back, Jenna. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's going to wrap up our post-game coverage. I'm Chris Conley on Zaleski Sports. Jenna, come over here. One more thing to do. Sorry. You know, we do our highlights. You say your name and you say you're in the house because it's the highlight Can house. Can you say my last name? Yes. Okay. I'm Jenna Vaman and I'm in the house. Very good. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.